y'all it's chimney so in this video we're gonna talk about money all right what we all love what we all want what we sometimes hate what we sometimes fear that sweet money okay that was a lot <laughs> i feel like i came out hot with that intro but we're gonna keep going because i don't really feel like we're recording anymore like it's a process so i've got a couple of books with me that have helped me on my journey to healing my relationship to money and we're gonna talk about them before we get into all that though go ahead and give this video a like Subscribe if you haven't already. Join me on Patreon. Thank you to my Patreon producers. Y'all are the best. Appreciate y'all. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, very first book, Becoming Supernatural. I have my friend Helen to thank for this book because she sent me literally a photo from the book, like one of the random that has like all these really dope illustrations and stuff. And so she sent me one of the illustrations and I was like, ooh, this is powerful. Like, you know, you hear and read something and it just like gets right to the, the core of you. It was one of those and I was like, where is this from? <laughs> and it was from Joe Dispenza, Becoming Supernatural. So this entire book is wild. I highly recommend the whole thing. I've included the link to a podcast that he's on that I think is also very powerful and moving. So strongly recommend him as a person, <laughs> this book especially. One of the things that I got from this book that was super helpful was the concept of mind movies. So this is essentially where you hypnotize yourself into believing something. So first you watch this like kaleidoscope of imagery for like a few minutes and then you are listening to a particular song while this kaleidoscope imagery is playing, right? And you're just like relaxing those brain waves down. And then you watch a series of like people with money saying things like I'm abundant, I get money easily, like all those different kinds of affirmations, right? While that same song continues to play. At the end of that, the images go away and then the kaleidoscope comes back and then you're once again listening to the song and having your brain waves like be relaxed and you're essentially like remembering the feeling that came with like being this like rich ass person right that was the main thing that i did in terms of my life after reading this book there's one here on youtube i'm gonna link to you all what i would do is i would watch it when the money parts would come on literally i would work myself up to get so like emotionally like just like feeling the emotion and the gratitude and just like the appreciation that god was gifting me with all this money up to the point of like having tears you know just being so thankful and grateful and then of course watch the kaleidoscope one again and just like kind of bring myself down you know it's it's hard to say like like, I watched this and then I got X number of dollars, but I, you know, y'all, here I am without any traditional job. <laughs> and I still, I'm still drinking my smoothies, you know, I'm still doing just fine. I am living rent free. I feel like it's really important that I name that, but your girl is, pro your girl is prospering. She's thriving. Trader Joe's too. You know how Trader Joe's is. Mmm. Okay, let's continue on, <laughs> all right. The next resource that helped me, and this was more foundational, was, and this is a thick tome, okay? You don't have to read all of this if you don't want. This is actually three books in one. This is the complete Conversations with God book. If you are not ready to have your mind blown, don't read this book because it's pretty intense. It really did rock me to my core. I am arguably still recovering, but I'll just share the most important, it's not the most important, I'll share the most relevant to this video idea around money. And it was around this idea that, you know, we want money, but we are told that it's bad. And we're told that it's bad, even though in our experience, it feels good <laughs> to open your wallet and have money. It feels good to be able to go to a store and buy what you want. It feels good to be able to donate to a cause you care about. It feels good to be able to lend money to someone who needs it. It feels good to have money, but at the same time, we've been told that actually money is bad and you're a bad person if you have a lot of it. So it's hard to reconcile. And so when you have a job that you hate, it's easy to accept money for it because you're accepting a bad thing for a bad thing. It's a lot tougher when you have a job that you really like or something you're really good at. And then it comes time to charge fairly for it because you're like, I don't want to take this bad thing that comes after this good thing that I really care about. And that's why, especially if you're in like a creative field, it gets really tough because you love what you're doing, but you feel bad accepting money for it because you do deep down think money is bad. So that was really helpful for me to hear because I knew I had limiting beliefs around money, but it just summed it up so easily and quickly. That's like, yeah, like it's hard to accept something that I think is bad for something that I think is good. And for me, it was tied to my faith. I was like, I cannot experience 
the joy of the Lord and be rich. Like it's not possible, right? And my understanding now is that the idea is not to think that the money, <laughs> like not to make an idol of the money. Like money is great, it's energy, but just to always be focused on the Lord is the key thing. That fear kept me from even wanting to explore how to make money and how to be good at making money. And I really am so grateful to this book because it just really helped me understand how deep of a limiting belief that was. So that just core belief was incredibly helpful to me. That's what caused like the switches in my brain to like realign. Things have been flowing a lot more ever since I've read this book. I highly recommend it, like I said, but it is pretty intense. So if you're not ready to just really rethink your ideas about faith and the Lord and God, uh, you know, maybe just, you just take what I've given you <laughs> and see if it lands with you. So that idea around money was within this larger idea of when we let other people tell us how to think and how to feel and we actually dismiss our own experience of something. <laughs> That tends to be what happens a lot when it comes to our faith is that someone, we have this external force that's saying to us, here's what you should think about God and all these things. And even though we have our own experience of God, we just dismiss it for this other version, which tends to be usually a lot scarier, <laughs> a lot more controlling, a lot more, you know, more like a really bad king or someone like that, or a really bad father compared to like the actual Lord. But that gets into the faith conversation. It's the whole thing. The point is, you know, if you believe money is bad when your own experience is telling you that it feels good to not be poor, <laughs> then that is what you kind of need to examine and release if you want to start allowing more money to come into your life. And then the final resource, Happy Pocket Full of Money. I talk about this book. <laughs> I think I've talked about it so many times. I really, really love it. I love it because it really covers the gamut of like the quantum physics side. Everything is just energy, you know? So anything you want, you can have. You actually have it already. Like all that kind of stuff, all the way to really get an offshore bank account because you cannot trust the government with your money. The government is just people. <laughs> and people, you know, they be doing wild shit. So like, don't get your money be caught up in some wild shit that someone over here is doing, girl. Get yourself a foreign bank account. You're like, yes, okay, I will. I also really like it because between every section it has a line of I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy and so it's really nice to read it and just like over and over and over again and literally every time I read this book I get some money out of nowhere. <laughs> like I'll be reading this book getting all into the, into the energy of it and then the next day I'll have like a random deposit for some amount which has been really really fun. So I actually combined what I learned about from Becoming Supernatural and the mind movies with what this book talks about in terms of goals and visioning. So what this book says which is was really quite radical for me was like because the world is created by the things that you see you need to have a lot of things like that you want that God is basically using as all the content to create your life for you if you want to be really successful you should have 200 goals for your life and if you want to be like really really wealthy you need to have like 5,000 goals so I set about trying to make a list and the idea is that you get very specific you know it can be like I want to stand in Ritz Carlton one day I want to donate to this charity one day I want to have a boat anything you could ever think of you just write it down and then you get like I want it to be like a red Chevy Corvette, like all these kinds of details, right? So I started doing that. And it also talks a lot about vision boarding. And I love me a good vision board, y'all. And I made one that I literally am so in love with. I share it with people all the time because I think it's so great. I'm gonna give y'all some images of it now. It literally is my favorite thing ever. And so what I do is I actually, first thing in the morning, usually after my meditation, I'll pull up a song that I really love that like really gets me like a very high emotional vibration, get myself all just like up there and then pull up my vision board and scroll through it as I listen to these songs that just have me feeling so good and so grateful and so blessed and so connected. That has been so fun and already I'm seeing things pop off. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna do a follow-up video as more things from my vision board become manifest so I can, so you, so you can have these examples and I, I, I want to show bits of the vision board now so that in the future <laughs> as you start seeing me do these things you'll be like dang that's what she had in her vision board. What I do for my vision board is I actually go on Pinterest and I just grab screenshots of different images that really move me and then I put it in Google Slides. So yeah, and I just like scroll through. I think I'm at like 40 <laughs> slides now and I love it. I keep adding more and it's so fun. The fourth book I actually have, it's on my Kindle and I read it pretty recently and it's still sinking in. It's called The Go-Giver. It was recommended to me by one of my Patreon producers. I appreciate you. And it's all around how we think that business comes from being stingy and not giving a lot of value and having a tit-for-tat relationship with people in our network and all these different different beliefs that actually 
the complete opposite is the case and it kind of walks you like step by step through this like really short story about what it looks like to actually be successful and it comes from giving an incredible amount of value being very generous with the folks in your network just all this different stuff and that's kind of what has me uploading a lot more is because I'm like oh what can I give of value like what do I have that I can give and that's actually where real abundance lies and real wealth lies not in taking and holding and being stingy and trying to save and keep everything it comes from this like outflow of energy because everything you give you ultimately receive because we are all actually one it's spiritual too which I love I'm still in the process of implementing all of these things like I wanted to make this video truly for ever since I read the bit around the the mindset right around you think money is bad and so you know you're not of course you don't want a bad thing in response to some beautiful art you created that make of course right ever since then it blew my mind I was like I need to tell people about this <laughs> and also having pocket full of money is like the best way to make money for yourself is to make money for other people <laughs> some of the biggest companies in the world they're rich because they provide value for other people and so it says like share the book widely which is like also oh, great marketing it's like tell everyone you know about this book <laughs> read it every day read it every night so I've been wanting to make this video but I felt as if well I really need to fully understand and incorporate these things into my life before telling anyone about them right but it's so interesting because this is a three this is three books in one and the final book, the person who's being dictated to from God is like, I'm sharing all these things about how to live basically a good life, but here I am not a perfect person. And God's saying like, you don't need to be perfect <laughs> to teach people how to be better. You can be a work in progress as you help other people who are also works in progress. And I was like, okay, well then I'll just share what I got so far. It's helping me, it's inspiring me, it has me really excited. Hopefully it can do the same for you. If nothing else, you can hopefully start to just re-examine some ideas that you might have around money and figure out if they're serving you and if they're not you can begin to think about how to change them and you've got some books and some podcasts and some mind movies and some vision boards that can help you on that journey I hope this has been helpful let me know in the comments if it has been let me know what is your relationship to money do you think ultimately it is a bad thing for bad people or do you think you can be a good person and also have a nice life and a nice home you know and it sounds simple when you put it like that but I do think that is like the underlying belief system for a lot of these things let me know in the comments give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to see more join me on patreon and i'll see you in the next one bye